All right, so welcome everybody. Um, this is basically like a round-off session for the 10 days boot camp. So I know there are some people here who have not actually finished their own camp. Yeah, there are some people started late due to one reason or the other. Some people got their delivery late and some people had certain activities that came up that prevented them from starting with others. But I know everyone here has already had a taste of the camp. So it's either you are done or you are still within or you are still doing yours. Okay. And um, I want to say a big congratulations to everybody. And I want to say a big thank you for everyone who has trusted me. Uh, you know, yeah, because trust is big. Because there are a whole lot of stuff going on online these days. A whole lot of, you know, scams. And uh, I understand people's fear. Some people were scared when they were about to trust me with uh, their funds and everything. And you know, But I thank you for trusting me and uh, I congratulate you for making that wise decision, you know, taking that big risk. And I'm sure if you actually follow the regimen properly, you must have began to see some, you know, adjustments. You must have begun to see some, you know, changes some improvement in your health generally holistically so for those who are done kudos to you for those who made sure that they did not skip any day kudos to you as well because i know it is difficult okay someone is saying my voice is cracking is that what others is that are others facing the same thing too is my voice cracking with others too Oh, my volume is low. Okay. So what I'm saying in NS is that uh, a whole lot of people, you know, trusted me with their fund and uh, you know, with a lot of things going on online these days and, you know, a lot of scams here yeah, these days. But I thank you for trusting me and I congratulate you particularly for making the wise decision to take that risk and to actually do what, what we ask you to do you know, based on the regimen. It was hard, yes. I uh, confirmed that some of those days were hard, some of the activities were hard. Some of you had to go for hours without eating food like we used to eat, like we are used to. Some of us had to do some exercises and push our body to some limits. Some of us had to, you know, different things that we've not been used to before. We had to, you know, change some of our activities and some of our, how we behave, how we, you know, basically give our body attention. So for that whole 10 days, the whole attention was on your body. And that's what your body needs. Your body needs attention. And we're able to succeed with giving our body that much attention for that 10 days. So I congratulate you for, all, you know, going through all of this. Okay. Now, um, basically, the regimen should be your way of life. Okay, uh, let me break that down. So what happened is that most people, they only do things that will help their health only when they are sick. They wait until their body deteriorates, until their body, you know, breaks down fully because before they start taking next reaction. So the regimen which you went through should be your way of life. Things you learned during the camp should be your way of life. It shouldn't be something you just do once off. It shouldn't be something you just did for 10 days. Actually, you can go on with that regimen for, you know, 20 days even. You can go on with it for 15 days. You can go on with it for 10 days, have some break and go back again. We just had to camp everybody for 10 days so that we can show you what is possible because we needed to be accountable. If we had left you to do this on your own, there are a whole lot of people who wouldn't have done this, who wouldn't have even gotten to the extent which you got to right now. After three days, two days, some of us will be demotivated. Some of us will be demoralized. Some of us will be, we lose, you know, that motivation. We lose that fire. So that's why we had to camp us and, you know, uh, make it look, uh, make, make us feel that discipline, make us commit to it for that 10 days. So you doing it for that 10 days shows that you can actually do it. So you can do this on your own whenever you want to do them, okay? So another thing what I want you to point out here is that, uh, the anti-lipid tea should be a daily routine. Yes, 
the antilipid tea should be a daily routine. It should be something you take every morning. Two bags every morning. Two bags every morning. It should be a daily routine. It's not only something that cures or that helps with problem, health problem. It's also something that prevents and helps to repair DNA and helps to prevent DNA damage. Okay. So the antilipid tea should be a daily routine, something you take every day. Also, make it a habit to eat fruit every day. Can you can you hear me? Give me a two if you can hear me. Give me a two if you can hear me. Okay, so make it a habit to eat fruit every day. Fruit is very important. And then, um, you know, some of the things you learned, avoid taking carbohydrates as your first meal. So your breakfast shouldn't be carbohydrate fueled. It shouldn't be uh whole, it shouldn't be too much of carbohydrate in the morning. So whenever you want to eat your breakfast, carbohydrate shouldn't be the first thing you eat. Eat protein, you can eat fiber first. Okay, because that creates a mesh in your stomach to help you reduce the spike of insulin or blood uh blood sugar spike when you eat carbohydrates. So carbohydrates, avoid taking carbohydrates as the first meal of the day. Okay. Then avoid eating after 7 p.m. That's one of the things that we instilled in everybody. Even though some people got back home late from work, during the camp, and they were able to meet up with that 6 p.m. dinner. But avoid eating late after 7 p.m. No matter what you do, remember, you were only able to do everything you are doing because you are healthy. You go to work, you go to church, your work keeps you, you know, uh, back so late at work, you get home so late, and that's one of the reasons why you couldn't meet up with that 6 p.m. Remember, you're only able to go to that work because you are healthy, because you are still alive. Once your health, you know, deteriorates and goes beyond what your employer can even take, you'll be asked to stay back home. So that means you have to give your health priority. So there are different ways by which you can, there are different measures to, you know, do this. So sometimes when you get back home so late, I know it's so late, that shouldn't be the time when you eat, you know, large quantity of food. Okay, and if you have another opportunity or if you have another way, another method, you can, you know, or another measure you can put in place to help you eat before 7 p.m. Try it. But if there is none, even when you get home by 8, 9, that shouldn't be the time when you eat, you know, in large quantity. So eat only when you're opening at night, especially if it's late. But basically, avoid eating uh, anything after 7. You see, this particular boot camp, this, your set was one of the most challenging ones. Because there were a whole lot of people, they were, you know, we had to go overboard for people who were actually playing. We have a number of people that uh, we like to admit in the camp so that we're able to give people enough attention. Because it's not easy attending to each person's request, attending to each person's, you know, complaint, each person's question. It is not easy. And it's not something that is easy to delegate to someone else. It's not something that is basically easy to delegate to someone else. So it was very easy. We had to go overboard because there are a lot of people pleading, and one of our it's it, because our vision is to actually help a lot of people, but we had to stretch, so it's one of the most challenging one. Okay, so uh, thank you all for staying tuned as well. Then try to exercise every morning, no matter what. The, the, there are some people that they've made it a point of duty to do morning prayer every morning, and it has become their way of life to an extent that on days when they forget to do have their morning devotion. During the day, they feel as if there's something missing. That's how accustomed their body is to that routine. So also incorporate exercise to your morning routine. It's very important to have exercise every morning. You've learned different type of exercises in the camp, so you can incorporate this into your lifestyle. Some of you, some of us have been doing exercises before the camp, and some of us just you know got exposed to some of the exercises we can do. So whichever way. Make sure you incorporate exercises into your morning routine, no matter what. Okay, then avoid artificial seasoning. If you actually went through the bonus, there is a particular video in uh that was linked in the bonus that will teach you how to prepare natural seasoning, seasoning that you can use to you know garnish your food, to spice up your food without having to use the artificial seasoning like maggi and also. So go through the bonus if you miss the bonus. Then uh, maybe you can send a message, then we'll send it again. We'll send a link again once we are done again. Okay. So that you can go through that. Some people who have already learned uh, how to make natural seasoning from uh the bonus and if I implement I've been getting a lot of testimonials from that. 
Some people are even saying that their food is, is now sweeter than it was when they were using artificial seasoning. So go back to the bonus and read and learn for yourself. Okay. Um, then your dinner should be all, always rich in a lot of mineral. That's eat a lot of vegetables at night. Eat a lot of vegetables at night. It's very important. And then if you're the type that like to snack, if you like snacks around probably during the day, okay, fine. You can get all these snacks, especially nuts. You can get cashew nuts. You can get peanuts. You can get um, walnuts, all of these nuts. Okay? So you can eat them as snacks. Depending on the time when you get off that habit of eating in between food. All right. Now, for some of you who actually uh, need to continue, there are some of you, based on what was wrong with you at the beginning, basically the camp was to give you a cellular upgrade, was to you know shake the foundation of your illness. And uh, from that shake, some of you have gotten freedom from the illness. So the cellular camp was to shake the foundation. Now, if you still have one or two things to complain about and you still want to proceed into the next level of your treatment, you want to proceed to the next stage of your treatment, then uh, you will need to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me because I, uh, it is very, very hard replying to all messages. Sometimes we have over 200 messages. Sometimes we have over 300 messages on WhatsApp. There are about five different WhatsApp groups that we are managing currently. Okay, And each group contains about close to 900 to 1,000 people. So if you are managing about five groups, that's about close to 4,000, 5,000 people. So there are a whole lot of messages that are coming. So it's hard to reply all messages. And, you know, so for you to have um, that one-on-one -on -one feel, that, uh, if you want to go to the next level with your treatment, then you need to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation. So I'll be releasing the link to the one-on-one -on -one consultation on the group where we'll be able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, it's basically a one-hour call. Well, it is split into two. Okay, I hope you can understand right now. Okay, for those who have been asking, it's a one hour call, but it's split into two based on your complaint. So, the first session is going to be a 30 minute session. Okay, so we discuss and then uh, we conclude from that first session, and then we conclude when the second session is going to be. So, most times, when uh, for that first session, is definitely basically going to be QAs. I'll be asking you some power questions. I'm going to be probing into the issues uh, to know what I can recommend. So at the end of that 30 minutes, most times I'll tell you one thing to do or two things to do or so certain things to do. And then give me feedback at a particular date, which I'll let you know. And then after the feedback, we get on to the second call. So if there's going to be a need for, there's going to be a need for, maybe I recommend some medications or I recommend some supplements for you then. In the second call, I'm going to be going out that way. And for some people, from the first session, we might be able to reach the root of the case, we may be able to reach the root of the condition, and then I recommend what I, whatever I want to recommend. Okay, So that's how my one-hour uh, concession call goes. So it's 30 minutes first session, 30 minutes second session. So for those of you who want to take it to the next level, who still have one or two things to you know still carry on with with your health, okay, so you need to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. Sending me uh, some messages on WhatsApp. Of course, there are some messages I will answer on WhatsApp, but there are some messages, there are some complaints that need proper, you know, probing. There are some messages, there are some conditions that need proper, you know, attention, okay? So you just need to book that one-on-one -on -one consultation, okay? The one-on-one -on -one consultation is what's going to give you a one-on-one -on -one time with me, private time. It's not a group thing, and it's going to be pretty fast. If you're sending me a WhatsApp message, you have to wait until I reach your message. Your, your message could be the... 200 and first message. So I tend to message one, message two, message three, message four, message five, message six, message 100, message 150, message 200, forgetting to yours. So it could take days, it could take weeks, depending on how busy I am, how tight my schedule is, okay? All right, so one-on-one -on -one session is what you just need to get on so that you can have that direct feel and that. So I'll be releasing um, uh, the URL, the link, I'll drop it on the group because if I drop it here, once we are done with this call, uh, it goes off. But on the group, I'll drop it so that everybody can have access to it, okay? So that one-on-one -on -one feel is very important. And then there are some people or some of you 
I've actually been asking if you can carry on with the camp. Some of you want to extend the camp to 20 days. You want to do another 10 days again. Some of you want to you know, do another 20 days again. Okay. And uh, basically, you might need the antilipid tea. Some of you, some, some people made the mistake of using the tea even before the camp started. Some people have used some people have used like four bags or seven bags from the tea. So the tea was not enough for them doing the camp. Whichever, whichever you know, category you belong to, getting the new team, for those who do not know, uh, because I had a lot of messages back and forth when we're starting the camp. For those who don't know, the camp itself, the cellular upgrade camp itself is 80,000 error. Okay, this is not the fluff, it's 80,000 error. Okay, the camp, just that camp, me monitoring you in a group and telling you what to do every day. It is 80,000 error. Yes, but there was a special discount that got into 30,000 error. And, uh, so the camp, what you paid for, the 30,000 a lot of people paid for was for the camp. So every other thing that you got were bonuses, were free. That's what it meant. So the tea, antilipid tea was given to you for free. The detox patch was given to you for free. The uh, mini massage was given to you for free. And then all of these were delivered to you at your doorstep for free as well. So you didn't pay for all of this. It was given to you for free. It was just my own way of, you know, contributing so what is going on in the economy? What is going on in the country? We complain a lot about the health sector, but a lot of people who are complaining about the health sector are not doing anything, are not contributing anything in their own way. That is how I feel I could contribute to my own quota based on how capable I am at that particular moment to contribute to the health sector in Nigeria so that we can see, can get some improvements, okay? So it was given to you for free. The antilipid tea itself, that tea that you used to in the camp is 20,000 naira. Yeah. It is twenty thousand naira. So, uh, the bonus itself is, was even way more than what you paid for. When the tea alone was twenty thousand naira, the mini massager. Some people sell the mini massager as high as thirteen thousand naira, as high as fifteen thousand naira. So let's say some people sell it for thirteen thousand naira. If you add up thirteen thousand naira with uh, the tea, which is sold for twenty thousand naira, that's thirty thousand naira. Not talk of the patch, not talk of the delivery. So that was just our own way to contribute to what is going on in the economy because. There are a lot of people who are ready to do what it needs or what it takes to get their health back, to maintain their health. But so many people are not even getting access to the right information. So many people are not getting access to the right guide. So that's just what we did to help in that regard. Okay. So if you are getting the tea, probably you want to continue with the camp. You want to do the camp. Okay. For most of us, an advice that everyone should, you know, actually go on and understand this again. All right. If you know that you might not be able, you might not commit to it, then maybe you can just wait for the next edition. I'm going to announce the next edition, which is going to be the last edition for this year, because the camp was really, really exhausting for me. <laughs> so it's really, really exhausting for me. So, so if you know you cannot commit, cannot discipline yourself if you are doing it all on your own, just hold on. Let me announce the next camp so you join. But if you know you can, be sincere with yourself, okay? Because self deceit is the highest level of the city. If somebody is deceiving you, well, but if you are deceiving yourself, that's the craziest. Okay? So if you know you can be, you can discipline yourself and carry on with it, of course, you can start at whatever date that is suitable for you. So you can get the team. So I'm going to be giving a discount. So uh, you're going to be getting the tea for 15,000 naira, excluding the delivery fee. So your delivery fee will be based on wherever you live, Lagos or Abuja or Kaduna or whatever. So Depending on where you live, that is uh, what's going to be the main factor for your delivery fee. So basically, the tea is going to be 15,000 naira for everyone of you listening to me right now. So once you are done again, I just have to note all of this down. Once you are done again, I'll drop the link for you to place an order if you want to place order. Okay? So that is that about that. So the tea, 15,000 naira. That's all. Now, um, I don't want to do much of your talking. Okay? Uh, and... Uh, yeah, okay. So I would like to get feedback. Basically, um, hold on. So I would, I would like to hear feedback from every one of you who actually participated in the camp. We, had about, we have about 35 people on here out of others. Okay, I think there were about 90 people for this edition. Okay. So I want to hear feedback from you. Let's hear your feedback. Let's, you know, get your feedback. What positive thing did you see discipline 
what changes did you notice? What were you scared of at the beginning of the camp that you're able to overcome during the camp? What are the signs that you've seen before in your health that are now going now or that are gone or they are beginning to see changes in the body? So let us hear, I want to I want to feel, let us hear your journey, how you started um, the journey, the progress up to the end, okay? So um, let us take maybe two or three people who can just share with us so that... Uh, I just, I, I just want to get your feedback. So if you want to share with us, just raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Let's get your feedback. Let's uh, know how the campus. Just raise your hand. Okay, I think EGMA. So what I will do is um, EGMA first. Let me see. Okay. E EGMA. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself so that we can hear you. Ijama, unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Can we also see your face? Okay. Hello, can we see your face? Sorry, I'm trying to see how to get my face on. Sorry. Ah. Let me see. You. I forgot to now to make my face on. To make your face on, there's a, a camera button below. There's a there's an icon just below the screen of your phone. Just beside that icon that looks like microphone. Just click on it. Okay. Uh. You can see your face a little okay. bit, okay? Seems it's dark, but you go on. Now? Yes, you can see where it's dark, but you can go on, you can go on. Let's hear from you. Okay. So good evening, everybody in the house. Um, I am Miss Joma. I am a participant of this uh, boat camp. I really appreciated everything that took place because um, when we started the first day, I never knew I would get to this extent. So the first day I woke up, the ability to wake up earlier than before was really a challenge. But I just have to, because I know that is the only way I can get to find out something natural that, that could help with my health. Okay, so when, when I actually started early, uh, unlike the normal time given by our our instructor, Dr. Ayo. So I had to start very early and discipline myself as early as five. I woke up, I will make sure I do what I want to do. Everywhere is quiet to make sure I finish up and get ready for work. It was the challenge I had to do it. So it, that means that this boat camp required discipline. And if you're not disciplined, you can't make it. So people around me knew that I was committed. For the four, three, four, five days, they were ah, mommy is waking up early. Mommy is waking up early. Even my daughter has to wake up with me to do the exercise with me once in a while, once in a while. So that makes it fun, really. Okay. So after two, three days, I realized that, like I was complaining to the flyer, my joints were paining me, seriously <laughs> paining me. But my husband said, I think it's, it's, it's because of the exercise. Go ahead, go ahead, do it. Do it. So I was really doing it. It was not easy, really, because it's as if they brought out all the sickness from my from my body. It's as if I was reacting to my throat fear cracking. I could not hear myself. Then the the lipid tea I use on my eyes. If I wake up in the first three days, some particles, some um, starchy things will be coming out. You know, just like that. To the extent that even my husband supposed to give me some, let me use on my on my eyes. So. That is number one improvement. I had this eye shot, eye shortedness, and I used to place the, the camera on my office on my desk, desktop from morning to evening. So it was really um, something that I benefited when it comes to the eyes. And therefore, the lipid tea 
it made me to feel as if I don't, I, I am full. So I could say for the whole day, I may not be hungry at all. When I see food, I feel like I should not, don't bother to eat. You are fine. And, and, and I'm not eating. So, so after this few days, on the 80th day, I realized that I was, I was light. My trousers can enter me well, you know. Then the, at the first day, I was, I was weak and sicky, looking sickly. But I, I, I continue doing it. After today, I am, I am looking healthier and stronger. Those things are no longer there. So in fact, it's, 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 a, it's a plus. It, it was something I really benefited from, no doubt. Okay. So, um, so at the beginning, you, uh, you had to discipline yourself to be able to wake up early than you used to before, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is true because uh, the, the major ingredient of the boot camp is discipline. That's just it. It is discipline. So once we can discipline ourselves, so since you can discipline yourself for these 10 days, that means you should be able to do it. Even if you want to continue, it's going to be easy for you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much for sharing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So um, that was Mrs. Ijeoma. I think we have, we have Ifioma again. Okay. Ijeom, Mrs. Ijeoma just spoke. So let's take from Ifioma. Ifioma, kindly unmute yourself so that we can hear you and kindly put on your video so that we can also see your face. Mrs. Ifioma, you are on. Oh, yeah, we can see your beautiful face. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, good evening. Okay, just like just like um, my sister just said, it was uh, really challenging from the beginning because for me, somebody that works, I have to be in my office by eight. Hmm. So if I don't get up early and I have children to take to school before going, so I have to sacrifice my sleep to wake up earlier than normal take them to do my exercise. It's only on the first Sunday that I did not do that exercise because of church service. But all the other days, I make sure I do it before doing it. Because usually I used to do uh, aerobics. And okay. when the children came, I now stopped. So it was just like I've been lazy going back. So it was just like I am having what I was running, what I used to do before. So I liked it. So in the area of discipline, I find out that I can actually stay and do not eat in between meals. You know, I that it, it is possible that I can stay after taking the tea in the morning, take the, uh, uh, I can stay till one o'clock, take food till six o'clock that we eat, uh, the normal food that we normally eat. So it was really challenging. But what I now notice is that, is, is that I, my stomach, now became flat. Okay. So my only was like, ah, was it food that is even making people this uncomfortable? Like she said, I could wear my pants trousers very well and they fit very well. Even in my office, for this just 10 days, people now started noticing because they it's started noticing the glow because it's now coming from inside. They were now asking me, ah, uh-uh, you never tell us what you do. Ah, uh-uh, <laughs> you are looking different, you know? Even yesterday, they were the guys in my office was like, "You are looking different these days. So tell us what is happening." You know, I just laughed. <laughs> so I just laughed, you know. But it's just that me normally, I, I, on my own, I stopped to drink soft drink. On my own, I stopped eating sugar. Okay. You know, it is, and this one now really helped me to. And another thing I, 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 I did is that when I cook those meals without those maggi or whatever. It was tasted very, very good. And I was telling somebody, I said, I never knew that garlic has this sweet taste. Yeah. And I am not testing the garlic. And I'm testing the food is very tasty. To the extent that my mom and my sister were struggling to eat my soup and my yeah. vegetable soup with me. <laughs> you know, they keep sharing it with me, you know. And the iru, I enjoyed it very well. I'm not, I'm not iru, but I don't normally eat iru. But when I use it to make the soup, it was so delicious. So I just want to thank you, and I just want to encourage each and every one of us 
that, like you said, is a lifestyle. I just wish that we will continue. Are you and going to, for the are you going to go back to the ways? Yeah. Go on. Uh, for the lipid seal, uh, um, I just think that you should give us at a discount <laughs> instead of giving us at 15000 So we'll get more. Because since it's something that we'll be taking every day, uh, I don't know how many things. I said for the lip. For the lipid, uh, uh, the tea. Yeah. If we can get it, uh, <laughs> as a more discounted price, it will be of help to us. In fact, we really appreciated, you know. Uh, if we can get it at a discounted rate, it will be fine. And I want to say another thing. For this just 10 days, yeah. I have some dresses that I've not worn for like three years. Yesterday, the day before yesterday, I wore those dresses and it fit, fitted very well. So I was like, for only 10 days, I uh, could achieve this. So what if I continue? So I just want to appreciate you. I know everybody appreciate. Uh, we, are, we have been saying that. So just do us for the <laughs> for the tea. Give us more discount for the tea. And please remember to send send us the link for the bonus you mentioned. I don't I don't I don't think I got it. Okay. All right. So Thank I'm you. I'm basically taking down everybody's feedback. So. We're going to work on that. So just once we are done, yeah. work on that and then we'll do what you have to do okay. and send it to the group. Okay. So no problem. So thank you very much thank for sharing. You. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Yes. Okay. So I think we have um charity. Charity up here. Uh okay. Hold on. Charity, uh, kindly unmute yourself and let us see your face. Yeah, can we see your face as well? Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's hear from you. All right. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed the boot camp. Prior to this period, uh, I've been very deliberate about health. And much as you said, it's natural. That was the main attraction. So I don't, I'm scared, even right from childhood, taking drugs. So being deliberate about what I eat previously, but this one is a, a very fantastic uh, regimen that we put us through. And I actually noticed uh, a serious improvement because I used to have a, like a line at my back. So I do all sorts of exercises to get rid of it and it still remains there. But just on the fourth day, I noticed that I'm no longer feeling that there is a, a line behind me. So I should I think that could be numbness, something of that nature. And I realized that it's no longer there. So I quite appreciated the bootcamp so much. And one need to be very, very deliberate to maintain good health. And like uh, Ifoma said, I'm one of the ones that we actually want it to be a way of life. Um, because if going by 15, 15K per month, per 10 days, we'll be doing like, um, let's say like 60K or thereabouts, okay? Or 45,000. I know the economy is quite uh, uh, tough for each one of us here. So... Uh, the the one that actually I struggled with was the oilless uh, veggie, okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, much later, I say if one can if one can drink medicine, that is quite bitter. Why won't I take the natural thing and be well? That was my motivation. I wasn't so I wasn't able to meet up with the B two because I'm an early morning person. By uh, five forty five, I should I should be out of the house. You're living so, in Lagos, right? That I completed one. Yeah, I live in Lagos. I live in Lagos, yeah. <laughs> first, act, first act to be precise, yeah. <laughs> Lagos people. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it's, it was uh, that bit. I'm even thinking of completing the second day tomorrow, and okay. there is no light now. So, uh, it's, uh, that was just a little challenge. But then, 
the entire program was quite on point and i really appreciate everybody in the house more especially our mama that uh, was up and doing with us then the one of the exercise that actually uh, i learned that actually got through to me and i had been only was uh, clutching your hand you know squatting and kicking the air that was the one that actually uh, gave me tough time but i'm getting on with it now thank you so much doc yeah thank you very much for sharing thank you very much we are the Lagos. We are the other Lagos people here. <laughs> Let me hear from Lagos people. <laughs> the Lagos people that have to wake up by four a.m. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, I don't care, Mrs. I don't care. Okay, let's have you. Um, Mrs. I don't care. Kindly unmute yourself. I let us see your face. Are you yes. from Lagos? Good evening. Are, are you from Lagos? First yes. Of all? <laughs> yes. What time do you wake up every day? <laughs> oh well, around five. Can somebody is saying? I I didn't let like you say. Lagos people, we are still on the road, don't try. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, let's have you. Yes, thank you, doctor. I want to appreciate you. I want to appreciate the day I even came in. You no, know, to you no. Know, oh, I think it was on Facebook. I just saw that thing. I could just quickly click clicked it. I saw so that it's like something natural that I've been looking for, and I quickly joined, you know, got into the WhatsApp uh, uh, platform, and I've been following since. In fact, I have not seen anything like this before. I've never experienced something like this before, and it was really, really, really interesting to me. Even my husband. We both wanted to pay that thirty thousand that night. We he was trying to tell transfer. I was trying to transfer. Wow. So my own went through his own. The the the, the money was returned, you no know, reversed. So he now said, okay, you just go ahead with your own. I will follow. Just go ahead with your own. And that was how we started. And like play, like play. I was surprised the first day. You no, know, for some time, for about three weeks before we started the camp, I was having a, a kind of feeling in my left. I like um, I see if there are worms there, and okay. I just see my glasses not so to one month. so I didn't really know what. And me, I, I'm already tired of going to the hospital. Even my eye doctor said I should come back if I'm still having that feeling and all that. I just decided on my own that I was not going back before I even you know got to know about your this your program. So when I got it and we started. The lipid anti lipid tea we asked to put in our eyes. Yeah. What I noticed after using it, I think the third day, I noticed that that feeling disappeared till now. I'm not having any feeling again in that left eye, feeling of maybe something moving there or something like that. No feeling like that again after the third day. Then another thing I realized was that there is this discipline. Oh, I love it. That Saturday we started, I was in a retreat and they were serving this, serving that, even after. I was able to hold myself. I packed all the things I would need. That was the first day. I packed all the things, including gas cooker to the camp, <laughs> to the challenge where they put us. I said, please, I just need the room so that I'll be able to concentrate and do my, I told our leader, I have a program and can't afford to miss it. That was the first day. Carrot and tomato. I couldn't blend it because you've not told us how we do it before I left for that camp. That's that, that uh, Friday evening. So I just bought the carrots and tomatoes. So when I now got to know later in that evening, that Friday, that we had to blend it. Ah, there was no way I could blend it there. So what I did, I was eating the carrot and eating the tomato roll like that. And I so much enjoyed it. Something I've never tried before. What I want to say is that even on th Thursday, I think the sixth day or so of the program, I had to travel for a ceremony that we need to cook and eat and all that. But do know that I did not taste, I mean, not taste even all the things that they provided, you know, with my sister's uh, celebration. I didn't take anything. And my sister, when I got to him, just said, See your tummy, see your tummy. I said, I observe it. He said, Your tummy has gone down. What are you doing? I said, I'm in a program. And I noticed it myself that my tummy has gone down. 
and I feel so light. All the exercises, God helped me. I was able to do them. You know, even when I traveled for about four days or five days, I was able to do all the exercises all through. Thursday to yesterday that we finished. I came by yesterday and all the menu menu, everything, <laughs> the ceremony, to my surprise, I was able to discipline myself because of this you know, because of the way I was feeling, I knew that this thing has really helped me. I didn't fall victim of <laughs> trying to eat what they were eating. Everybody was eating, celebrating. They were just one the kilo share. I said, I'm in the program. I'm in the program. And I, I have benefits for it. I've really gained a lot. And it has affected my body, my BP, though I wasn't uh, hypertensive before anyway. But I noticed my husband took, I think that's uh, a ab berry. And okay. um, one of the things we took, I think the third day, his own BP that has always been maybe 130, 90, no, 90, 90-something, dropped. Just, mm -hmm. He just joined only twice dropped to normal and from that time till now so i want to bless god for the way god has helped us in the camp and i want to appreciate all our people there that everyone has been an encouragement to all of us because when you see your neighbor <laughs> your colleague there on platform doing the exercise even my mouth 80 something yeah 60 something doing the exercise you are encouraged you are encouraged even this morning i did the exercise i will continue i'm not stopping because I'm getting the benefits. God bless Dr. Ayo. God bless everyone on the platform. More wisdom for you in Jesus' name. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, very quickly, I also wanted to ask from everybody, because um, it's one of the uh, most difficult food items to get was the Ontario Berlanta. <laughs> I know it was very, very difficult for a lot of people to get it. Um, okay, so um, if you... Of course, everybody actually got it. If if you actually went to the boot camp, you must have gotten it. So what I need from you guys, please and please, um, if the person you got your Ontario or Belanta from is reliable, please kindly send me their contact, their phone number, and uh, their location, so that for anybody who asks me in the future for where to get it from, I can easily share contact of those whom you've gotten it from based on their location to them. So please, once you are done, you can actually send me a message on WhatsApp or in the group. So I can just copy that and just keep it in the file so that it will be easier for another person trying to get it in the future. Okay. All right. So I want to add, somebody was asking about, um, I think I saw the question about the tox patch. Yeah, the tox patch is just 2,000 era. 2,000 era, just 2K. Okay. All right. And, uh, Friday is asking, how can we private chat for discussion? Yes, I said, once you are done, I'll share a link where you can book a one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. All right. So let's have Isaac Oedele. That should be a man. Mr. Isaac Oedele up here. So Mr. Isaac Oedele, kindly unmute yourself. And let's see your face. Okay. We are seeing your face a little bit. It's a bit dark, but let's hear you. Mr. Isaac Ayadele, sorry, no, Ayadele. Mr. Isaac Michael Ayadele, you are on. Mr. Isaac, or Chief, Chief Isaac Michael Ayadele. <laughs> Can we hear you? You're already on. You're already on. And I, uh... okay. Seems he's not ready. So who else would like to um, share their experience with us, their journey? Who else would like to share their journey with us? The ops. And there were some, yes, there were, there were some people that were very, very old, that were very aged here on the camp, and they really did so much. 
there was somebody of 83 and um, she actually did everything she and I, I know how difficult this could be because it's something i do myself you said that most of the uh, exercise videos were recorded by me it was something i did so i know how difficult some of them uh some of the exercises were even for someone someone of my age not to talk of somebody who is 83 okay that's i i would like to give those people big kudos i think we have mr Yemi maruf up here let's have you mr Yemi maruf kindly unmute yourself mr Yemi maruf let's hear you and let's see your face are you also from lagos lagos yes <laughs> you're also from lagos good evening yes lagos people that don't want to dominate you know people from other places <laughs> where are you where are you? There's somebody from Adamawa. I, I, I know the location of almost everybody because I monitor the location for delivery. Where are others? Only the gospel are speaking. Oda, no wala. Okay, can we see your face as well? Uh, uh, I'm trying not, to if, show if, my face. If it's, not, if it's not comfortable, okay. Okay, we can see you. Oh, yes, this is, this, this is, this is, this is you. Okay, let's hear you. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening, house and the doctor. Uh, first of all, let me start by thanking the governor, uh, the doctor, rather. <laughs> he must be a politician. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, a politician. No, 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 no. I'm an engineer. Okay. Uh, just excited. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just want to bring up uh, my own issue and maybe one or two other people. Okay. That uh, we are behind. Okay due to one or two schedule that happened. I'm, a, I'm too late, two days behind the schedule. And thank God I'm following up everything, every exercise um, is being uh, done perfectly, just as you prescribe for us. And I really want to just say thank you very much. Thank you. Even this uh, evening meeting, uh, I missed it. I just, I'm just joining right less than 10 minutes now. Okay. I just joined uh, just because of my work. I travel from, all the way from Lagos down to Ilone. I'm in mm. one remote area presently now. But just want to give you kudos. And uh, actually, I don't know what you people have discussed before joining now. Maybe after I will go back and watch the video then see how I can benefit from it. I just want to ask, is our class still continuing or you've given us other clue of what to do next? Okay. Firstly, let me ask you this question. What part of the camp do you enjoy the most? Uh, the one I enjoy most was the, is, let me call it fasting. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I really enjoyed it. For me, taking just ordinary tea early morning and uh, my other mixture around 6 30 then tea even at, at 1 1 p.m at time it don't feel like me i don't feel like taking anything just waiting around that six you know it does enter into my body i adapt to when I, with my body even my wife was complaining that <laughs> she would like to join that's why uh, we're asking if there is other thing in future for us to to carry on. Okay, back to your question now. Um, for, yeah. basically, firstly, um, individually, you can continue with the camp. You already have the regimen. You already have the schedule for ten days, so you can decide to you know fix another ten days for yourself personally. That's if you know that you can discipline yourself. Because there are some people that they know that they might not be able to discipline themselves if they do it all by themselves. So if you can discipline yourself, then you are good to go. You can schedule, you can even make it monthly program for yourself. That every 10 days, maybe the first 10 days of every or the first 10 days of every month is what you will do. Maybe on the from on the first one, the second, or on the third, on the tenth, sorry, or the last 10 days of every month, or the 10 days in between every month. So you can decide to be, you know, doing this. There are some people that they there are particular days of the week that they've dedicated to fasts. Some people fast every Monday, some people fast every Tuesday yeah. and Thursday. So you can also you can also incorporate this Monday, too. Thursday. Hey, can you also incorporate this that okay every 10 days or every 15 days or every this day to this day i'll be doing this that's one two um i also said um uh you can also get the antilipid tea by yourself and i said this 
uh, a discount for everybody instead of 20,000 naira, which is the original price, you'll be getting it for 15,000 naira. But people are clamoring, people are already clamoring that we should look into the price, which I already noted down. So if there's going to be an adjustment, I'm going to be giving you uh a full I'm going to be giving you a feedback on that on the group, not but not here. Okay, that is two and three. Um, there are a lot of things that a lot of people will have learned from the camp, most especially discipline, exercises, mm. eating fruit, eating exactly. vegetables. Uh, exactly. vegetable. So for those who have not incorporated this into their lifestyle before, you can incorporate this ongoing. In fact, you can make your lunch every day, fruit. So you just eat only meal in the morning and meal at night. So all your lunch will be fruit. So just try to incorporate a lot of uh, fruits and a lot of vegetables into your meal. So basically, and somebody's asking, I'm saying this question, and that's somebody asking about sex. Yes, you can go back to sex. <laughs> you can go back. <laughs> sorry, sorry, oh, Dr. Ayo. Sorry for Dr. Ayo taking away that part of you. <laughs> it's time. We are done. You can go back. <laughs> okay. So you can go back to sex. You can go back to, uh, we just had to, okay, this is the thing. Um, basically, when men, we, we produce this spam cell, every maybe three days or two days or four days yeah we produce this sperm cell but sometimes when you abstain from sex your body reabsorbs the ingredient it's used into making the sperm it reabsorbs it back for the benefit of the body so that's why we just had to make everybody abstain from sex for that thing so that your body can keep on reabsorbing back that instead of just pouring it out so but right now you cannot go back to your wife <laughs> this actually costs something among some people that cannot disclose <laughs> before we started. So if I had an issue with the husband, the husband had to call. <laughs> Is it you? I told my wife. <laughs> but now we can go back to our we can go back to our normal activities, the healthy activities, and we'll cut out the uh normal activity that we used to have before that we know that is no longer healthy again. So that's basically it. So thank you very much for sharing as well. Thank you very much. Yes, you're welcome. Yes. Um, uh, let me see. Okay. I'll be going through the comments, uh, when I'm done with everybody else to come up here. Okay. I'm seeing Mrs. Ifema's hand up again. Okay. There's another person here, Tony and Ifema. That should be husband and wife. Tony and Ifema, Nigeria Limited. Let's have you. You can omit yourself. Tony and Ifema, Nigeria Limited. Let's have you. Or Chief Tony and Chief Mrs. Ifioma. Let's have it. <laughs> Are you from Lagos too? I'm not Chief. You're not Chief. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You're good with me, sir. Yeah. I want to say a very I want to say a very big thank you to you. And uh, to my pastor, Mr. Zombi, that spoke earlier. You know that actually sent the link to me to introduce you to this. Wonderful book, time, which I really, really enjoy. Before I had this week, but right now I can sleep deeply for at least five to six hours in a day, which I really enjoy a lot. The one thing I enjoy so much about the book, time is also when it's time for dinner, you know, I'm not into fasting. So when this fasting came up, as my wife told me, I wish I can do you that lot so much, but eventually I was able to. Oh, we lost him. Lost that. Wow. Please come back quick. Come back quick. <laughs> okay, while waiting for him, let's take uh Mr. Anyotola Ms. Bao. Let's have you here. Can you unmute yourself? Huh? Let's have you. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. Yeah. Are, are you from are you from Lagos too? No, I'm uh, from Quara State. Hey, hey, ah, oh yeah. <laughs> let's have you. Why are you, why are you guys letting Lagos people dominate? What's happening? <laughs> okay, let's have you. <laughs> and my fellow bootcamp members, uh, we give glory to God Almighty for the opportunity given to us. When well, this is a rare opportunity, and anybody that has that that got that opportunity. We really and we dearly and really appreciate you that you as the mentor, my like the other speaker said, governor, maybe <laughs> <laughs> but 
but sincerely, Doctor, I really appreciate being part of the member I mean, a boot camp because there are many things I don't notice physically, structurally within myself. But the people that surround me, they are asking me serious questions that are, what are you doing? See your tummy is going out. You, you read my comment one day, I say, I see a problem with my tummy. What do we do as this tummy matter? Somebody equally joined me in that question, uh, tag activity, exercise question. So sincerely, my daughter was in school. She came back. She looked at me and said, Daddy, you are looking fresher. And you're telling me, uh, what are you doing? I said, well, what I do is I understand. And I learned is that I want to be self-disciplined. Once you are self-disciplined, sincerely, it is not difficult to achieve those goals that one is determined to achieve. So sincerely, so people that are surrounding me, they're asking me, what are you doing? I said, don't worry. By the time I finish my camp, you will not understand what I'm doing. So, Doctor, sincerely, I really appreciate you. I never regretted being part of the boot camp. Honestly, you are one in the millions. You are one among the millions. I'm second to none, sincerely. <laughs> Your matter with one of my brother, younger brother, he lives in USA. I ask a question as regard thyroid. The other time, mentioned something like thyroid. That is, is there any permanent solution to thyroid? Maybe I will, I will contact. Actually, I've sent your email, I mean, your the number to him. He will contact. He will, I think, if by the time he has the time, he will join, he will contact you and you'll be able to talk one on one. He asked me serious questions. How do you meet him? What is his profession? I said he's a medical doctor. He said he doesn't learn this uh, orthodox, this from what I said. No, I don't know. But all I know is that joining the camp, I have seen the positive reaction and positive changes in me. And let me be sincere to today, I started all over again. That's good. This morning, only the lipid anti lipid that I don't have. But I went back. I have to take uh, aloe vera with lemon what, or warm water or warm water. I gave my wife. She asked me that, ah, you have to be doing this thing once a while. I said, well, that is because she has been making jest of me. You pay 30,000. You are losing money. I said, don't worry. I know I'm not losing money. How much is 30,000? And she equally, when she drank the, that thing with me this morning, honestly, she confessed that, ah, I don't know, this is what you enjoyed. And as I'm speaking with you, I've blended my to now for me to take tomorrow. Okay. So, so continue on that tempo. Maybe by the time, with the exercise too. I did the exercise, I don't miss it. All the days in my boot, my days in the boot camp, I don't miss any of the exercises. So I really appreciate you, doctor. For meeting you, Allah is a blessing to me. Thank you, sir. So question, that we Muslim, you know, somebody responded that, you know, it does, because like me, I used to wake up 3.30 every day. Okay. I was so After I observed my super prayer, I go back to bed before I shower to go to my office. So you're like illegal. So I... To... <laughs> <laughs> One need this thing. And necessarily, I've started all over again. On the temple that I want to discipline myself. Most, most of the things, we are, why we're having problems... Our problem is that we are not well disciplined. Yeah, that's it. God, whatever we intakes. You know, when I took that thing in the morning, even till this six this six evening, I didn't take any only water. No. I just ate right. So that is that is done for today. I'm okay. That can't six o'clock. So I'm okay. And sincerely, I'm okay. So I want to believe that by the time corner people be asking me, ah, kill a serious water. <laughs> to this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's all. <laughs> eh? What you say? She said that. She said, I want to appreciate that woman. Ah, she's only meticulous. Yes, 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 yes. She really tried. 
Sure. I did appreciate that, the woman. Sincerely, I appreciated that. You know, actually, I'll be 60 this year. Okay. I'm looking like my age anymore. Sure. So, <laughs> thank you very much. I thank God for meeting you and coming across you. So, okay. as God has we'll still discuss on that one later. Yeah, hey, no problem. Just send me a message. Just send me a message. Okay. So, this for, for this anti tea. We you are know, still waiting, though. Know. We'll look into it. I'll give everybody your feedback on the group. We'll look into it. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, you're welcome. Sir. Thank you for sharing. thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Okay, let me just quickly go through uh the chat here. Uh let me see. Let me see the ones I've not answered. Yeah, somebody's asking, how long can one keep the Abere and Peter Cola? Yeah, there's one question about the Peter Cola, please. I need you also to help me with. Uh, I've been struggling to get the Aousa name. Okay, I was able to get the Yoruba name, the Edo name, and uh, one other one. But I've been struggling to get the Aousa name. So Aousa is in the building, you know, people that understand the Aousa language, or people that live in Aousa community, and you actually got the Abere. Please, the Ontario Abreelanta, please. If you know the uh, Aousa name, the name they call it in Aousa language. Please let me know or any other language apart from Yoruba and um, Edo. Please let me know so that I can update myself. Yes. And uh, this person asking that um, when you soak the abiri cola nuts and uh, coconut water, the, how long it can still use up to seven days if it's properly um, locked. If you uh, if you close the lid properly, if you, it is if it's airtight, it can use up to seven days. And that seven days you don't need to refrigerate it. Yes. You don't need to refrigerate it. You don't need to put it inside the refrigerator. Yes, it's going to be fine. Yeah, uh, you told us that uh, the other day that if one could not stand on one leg with one eyes closed, then that means yes, you need detox, and that's one of the benefits you got from the um boot camp. So detox. So what you need to do right now, if you are done, if you are done with your own day thing, you can try that again and see if there's any improvements. If there's improvement, fine. If there's none. Fine, you can try to repeat the camp. Try to repeat the camp. Def Let me just tell you the fact. For a lot of people, the 10 days is not enough. That's just the truth. 10 days is not enough. Okay, We've done a whole lot of... We've committed a lot of atrocities with regards to our heads in, for a long period of time from the back. Okay, So the 10 days is not going to be enough for a whole lot of people. So it's something that you can do again for another 10 days or you incorporate it into your lifestyle even some people have even changed their food using uh, the regimen in the boot camp to form the basis of their food daily. So they no longer eat the way they used to eat before. Why there are some people that, you know, they do this every month, maybe 10, 10 days every month, 10, 10 days every month. So just try to incorporate this regimen into your lifestyle permanently, whichever way you want to do it. Just incorporate it permanently. There should be a change in the way you live your life after the camp that was not there before you joined the boot camp. Okay? So... Standing on one leg, uh, it's a problem of detox, and detox is one of the things you got from the camp, so you can try it again and see if there's any improvement. Mrs. Bola Dale says, "Good evening, sir. Please, so I joined later, but I have experience. I have, I have exper I have experience to share. I am forty-eight years old, but my period ceased for about six months." But surprisingly, on the ninth day of the program, I just saw my period. It is really amazing. This is about like the lady is supposed to come up here and share with us life. Because <laughs> your testimony will encourage someone else. That's powerful. Yes. So sixth period came back. Okay. And for a whole lot of people, most times when you go to medical facilities, sometimes they will tell you at age 40, age 45, that it is okay for you to, you know, enter menopause. And in a lot of cases, in a lot of cases, it's not ideal. Ideally, you should be about 53, 55 before menopause. So worst case scenario, at least you should get to about 50. So 38, 40, 45. In most cases, there are some, there are some exceptions. In most cases, 38, 40, 45 is not too ideal for you to be menopause. So that's a, good, that's a good feedback. Thanks for sharing. I'm finding it uneasy to use the mini massager. It's really giving me... Serious shock anytime I put it on my body to massage. Hence, unable to bed. Okay, please send me a message. Send me a message. Let me know the part of the body you are uh, using it for. 
send me a message. So if there's anything I can just um add to it for you to be able to use it very well, I'll let you know. What can we be using the Ontario Obelanta for as as I still have much of it? Okay. The same way you use it for the camp, that's the way you use it even after the camp. So you get bitter cola and you get coconut water and use it. It helps the hormone. Uh, Ontario Obelanta targets the hormone. It helps to restructure the operation of the hormone. Cortisol. So when it helps to restructure the operation of cortisol, it has an effect in your blood pressure. It helps to uh, restructure the operation of insulin. When it helps that, it has effect in your blood pressure, in your weight, and in your blood sugar. Okay, so it helps the operation of hormones. So you can continue using it exactly the same way you use it in uh, the boot camp. Okay, somebody said um, bitter cola is muji goro. That's in Hausa, right? Okay, let me take that down. Muji goro, Hausa, bitter cola. Okay, I'm looking for the Hausa name for. Uh, Abere. Okay, um, let me just take one more person. I think uh, I've gone past my time. I have uh, another program right now. Let me quickly take this person. Uh, Ime, can we have you? Can you unmute yourself and let's have you? Unmute yourself and let's see your face very quickly. Let's quickly have you. Hello. Hello? Yes. You have not omitted yourself. Omit yourself so that we can hear you. Omit yourself. There's... Hello. Yes, yes, we can hear you now. All right, but I can see myself. I can see you. Okay, no problem. Um, Just go on. I'm talking, I'm talking from AK to Nakwaibu. Thank God you're not from Lagos. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from Lagos. Actually, I must say kudos to what you're doing. I didn't really believe it, like you said earlier, so much has come in the country. But I just said, since it's natural, let me give myself a try. And I did it, and I don't regret it. Actually, my senior brother introduced me to it. I was not able to participate because of his, um, his nature of job. He, but he promised to join next camp that you set. It has really been an experience for me because um, there are some things that I was not able to do that I'm able, like um, that exercise. I can't really not bend down. But if you notice my last... Um, exercise i was able to bend now and you know swing the hand like you said uh thank you so much and also another thing i noticed is my weight reduced i was doing running the weight of um up to 88 going 89 but on saturday i went to check my weight because i'm in the local area i didn't see my um, blood um, operation to take it, the weight reduced to 